globalization in the Pacific Island countries. Most of the countries in the Pacific ones what is best for the survival economically, environmentally, culturally, in the health sector and others. Globalization is one of the things that is happening globally and it is not new. It has been existed long before until today due to the interconnectedness that many countries have within them but in today's context there is a fast increase and transformation in all the sectors due to globalization. The challenges of globalization in the Pacific region in relation to the environment are very common. The main challenges that islanders are facing are climate change, such as sea level rise caused by the melting of ice caps into the sea leading to some islands in the Pacific to drown, for instance, the case in the Marshall Islands where the country is sinking, forcing the people to move to the states, leaving the island, family and even cultures being as stated by P.S. As news hour. Furthermore, the natural disasters are increasingly happening in the Pacific Basin, as stated by the Vision of Humanity. Pacific is the most affected region, with 29% of global natural disasters occurring in the region in the 30 years to um, 2019. It was exposed to the largest number of natural disasters, with 2,845 events in the last 30 years. The global data analysis has shown that natural hazards have increased in numbers all over the globe, which is a tenfold uplift since the year 1960s. The Pacific Island nations face the highest portion of its natural disasters since 1990s. In addition, globalization do have challenges, but it has beneficial sites such as exposure to foreign ideas and lifestyles. The Pacific nations are in search for better opportunities and life in reference to employment, education, health, and other reasons. As stated by Australian National University, the Pacific Islands are feeling the effects of globalization. Free trade in sugar and garments are threatening two of Fiji's key industries. At the same time, the other opportunities are emerging. Labor migration is growing in the importance and the Pacific governments are calling for more access to Australia's labor market. Fiji has joined Samoa, Tonga, Tuvalu and Kiribati as Aramitain's economy with thousands of its citizens working overseas. Meantime, Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands grapple with an older kind of globalization in which overseas companies export mineral and forest resources. Another opportunity is to free trade through interconnectedness of countries' economies. It gives them the ability to trade freely when tariffs and subsidies are reduced and also information technology which drives the innovative use of resources to promote new products and ideas and makes communication easier, easier and convenient. Thus, even though globalization has many impacts to the Pacific Island countries such as climate change, natural disasters, and health issues, there are also opportunities such as free trade, exposure to new ideas which is helpful for the development of the country, and easy communication access which facilitate the lives of every islander in the Pacific countries.